Ah! Lately, there's been a problem in my life. This eyebrow has been twitching. I'm gonna relate it to lack of sleep and stress. Putting up a video every day is actually a lot more stressful than you'd think it would be, and so uh, I have a twitchy eye now. So welcome to day five. Today we're going to have a special guest, not really. Hi! Oh, uh, Johnny. I thought I was going to introduce myself. Yeah. I'm Johnny. I've been a friend of Laura's for quite some time now. She seems to now suddenly have a problem with me. It's hard for me to tell you this. It's difficult. He complains all the time and it is what? so annoying. What? You but I'm, I don't complain that much, Laura. I mean, it's, it's not that bad, is it? In that video that you recently made with me, Johnny, that uh, failing slash falling or falling, he was trying to pull some stunt where that lady told him he needed to put some ice on that elbow. Yeah, he ended up really hurting in his elbow. Yes. Laura, I think I fractured it. It was so bad in pain. The lady was like, oh my gosh, I think you need some ice. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> he like makes things so much more lame than they need to be. He'll get home from a concert and be like, oh my gosh, I feel like my spleen's falling out of my nose. Bro, when you get in the mosh pit, you're just like, ow, ow. But you're like, oh, I want to keep going, dog. I feel good. But you come home, they'll say, it was awesome, it was amazing. But I feel like my spleen's falling out. She overreacts about all my injuries. They are very severe. I've been in like 700 casts in my life, okay? Band-aid cast. I complain about school. IB nerd. Whoa! We have a designated <coughs> hallway called the IB hallway. He'll walk into the hallway, he'll come out, he'll go, I don't know what it is with these people! They love that place! He's complaining. But, I make a valid point. These kids are trying to figure out how they can, like, make one hour, like, six hours at one hour. Like, it's service and active at the same time, and service and creative at the same time. Pick up a piece of garbage and was like, oh, I'm gonna, like, recycle this. That's the creative part. The action part is actually picking it up. This for is service, my community. This uh Mission accomplished. An IB kid stretches the hour of time. And, and what does he do? He defies, you know, gravity and... Who makes time? That's time is relative money. I don't know, there's a song that goes, time. time is money. Time is money. Come and miss to the time is money. We are doing a play, Rumors, by Neil Simon. I'm supposed to be the comedian of the play, which Laura finds hard to grasp because I'm not that funny. I, I think I am. I play um, Leonard Gans, and he has quite a, quite a few lines. As I go through, I'm like, gosh, I'll never remember all the... You know what, Johnny? You can do it. And Laura's like... But when I complain that I can't, she's like, you're complaining again. That's how he actually eats some stuff. It's kind of weird to watch. Mm, that's how I eat my um, cheese and crackers. I also like to eat cow cheese. I, I so anyway. Oh my god! Water? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. So I don't know what I'm going to do because it's like a whole volume of the book. And it's by Monday and I have to like do stuff this weekend while Laura's reading and studying. Unlike myself. It's just something that I'm going to complain about. On Monday morning, when she drives me to school, it's a great thing. You know that he's not going to read the chapters. He's going to say... <laughs> he's, going to open, he's going to open that book, look at the chapter, and say, I just fell asleep. Like, immediately. You fell asleep during Transformers. It was in 3D and surround sound. There was more smashing in that movie. Every scene is like, oh, there's a hot girl on a motorcycle. But it's not Megan Fox anymore. I don't understand. Shia LaBeouf is running through the wind, and then all of a sudden, uh, there is a big giant robot behind us. He was uh, like it was one just of the like, few people who were like, yeah, let's go to the movies. That's a perfect idea. I really want to do this. <sighs> and then when I wake up, Laura complains. Well, I oh, it's a vicious cycle. It's so here is your challenge. Yeah, mom. I'm gonna. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna. Hey, you. <laughs> 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 what is complaining? Is it when you don't make a valid point and just talk about things that are annoying you? Or is it when you do make a valid point and talk about things that are annoying you? Do both count as complaining? Does only one count as complaining? I don't. That's the question. What do you think? I think in some way you do make a valid point, but if you continue complaining about how that point is valid, you're not complaining because the point is valid. You are making your point. Does that make a point? Does that, you understand that? Uh, it's happening again. I start to hyperventilate, and then I have a seizure, and then I don't know what to say next. Laura! Someone, Someone's calling. Hello? Oh, no, it's a text message. I think that complaining is when you do not make a valid point, yet consider con continually <laughs> talk about something that annoys you. What is really valid theory of knowledge? I have lots of hair on my chin. 
Is that a complaint? With you, I can't tell the difference between a comment and a complaint. See Halloween on that? It looked like there was a mark between the een, so it looked like someone just put, Hello! And then, like, een was crossed out. Hello! Like, ween, like, weenus. Oh, that was probably another complaint because the weenus refers to my elbow, and the elbow... Maybe sometimes you need to take a step back. Maybe. And look at the good in life. This is still for discussion. I just want to say that I feel honored and privileged for making a guest appearance on Laura's videos. Okay. Please vote for Lack. She is donating 100% to Conservation International. Really want to, you know, get a lot of votes. So it, thank you for watching. See you soon if Laura invites me back. If I don't complain about yes, it. Yes, actually a lot of people want to see a falling part too. Well, the lowest common denominator prevails. We're selling the news. I'm gonna believe you. I'm gonna believe that everything is in between. The fact is fiction. The fact is fiction. I'm gonna believe you. I'm gonna believe that everything is in between. The fact is fiction. Suspicion is a new religion. So, Johnny, how do you feel about this song, Selling the News? A good message. It's very current for what's going on in the world. We are, even us people who aren't a part of the media, selling the news. We're telling about what's going on every day, whether it's in our lives, in our community, in our country. I really like suspicion as the new religion. A lot of people believe in it, conspiracy theories, but I believe in the truth in one way, so. This song is so much different than any Switchfoot song I've ever heard. I've never heard John Foreman, like, kind of speak the like the verses for the chorus he goes into like a song and it's really cool i like the eerie vibe it has like johnny said there's a really awesome message behind it switchfoot vice verses she can never get it out right anyway she loves her dogs stop complaining all right <laughs> see ya bye